Hello, welcome to PhysQuest. So in this video, we will discuss about different types of rules of probability. So first of all, what is probability? Probability in simple definition, it means the possibility of occurrence of any event. Now there are many formulas regarding calculation of probability but mainly they are categorized into two types either we add the probability or we multiply the probability now the real question is when to add the probability and when to multiply now often students get confused with that when do they have to add the probability and when to need to multiply the probability. So let's discuss that. In any probability problem, the first thing you have to do is first of all write down the events or note down the events. So when you note down the events, next step what you have to do is check whether see first of all let us suppose there are two events event a and event b then what you have to do is check that whether you need to find out the probability of event a or event b or you need to find out the probability of a and event b so this is the thing different different see check the difference probability of event A or event B and probability of event A and event B. The difference is the word that is or and and. So in the first case where it is mentioned that you have to find out the probability of event A or event B in that case you need to add the probability and it is also represented at in terms of probability of a union B. This is the union symbol. The key word you have to look for here is or. If event A or event B is given for which you have to calculate the probability just be very you are sure that here you have to add the probabilities and this statement can be written in various ways in various phrases. Suppose it can be there can be mentioned the can be mentioned like that probability of either A or B or also it can be mentioned like probability of at least one of them so all these phrases means the same that means here you have to do the addition of the probability clear so now let's talk about when there is a mention of probability of event A and event B in that scenario you need to multiply the probability so you have to here look for the keyword and Okay, mathematically it is represented as probability of A intersection B. So here the symbolic repre representation is intersection. Uh, here, as I said, you have to look for the key keyword or the key phrase is and here. Again, this can be mentioned in different ways. So it can be written as probability of A and B. Also, it can be mentioned as probability of both of them. So such kind of phrases, if you come across here, you are very clear that you have to multiply the probability. I hope till now this is clear. Now we will proceed to possibilities of each of the rules because first one is known as the addition rule of probability. Second one is the multiplication rule of probability and each of them have various uh, sub cases as well. So now we will discuss each of them. First let's talk about the addition rule of probability. So addition rule of probability is applied when we have to find out probability of either event A or event B. This also has two types. When you have two events, uh, see I am taking example of two events There can be multiple of events. Uh, but Keyword is either or or uh, at least one of them. In such cases, you have to add the probability. So, let us suppose 
there are two events now you have to check here whether the events are mutually exclusive events or they are mutually non exclusive events let us understand the terms mutually exclusive event means the events cannot occur at the same time whereas mutually non exclusive events means the events can occur at the same time there is a possibility so you have to check these cases first let us talk about mutually exclusive events to understand such type of events we will take the example of a deck of playing cards so a playing card deck has 52 cards in a total of 52 cards there are four types of cards hearts diamonds clubs and spades for each of the type there there are four, 13 cards that is number 1 to number 10 and then jack queen and king number 1 card is also called ace let us suppose we need to find out probability of getting either an ace or a king so here either and or is writ either or mention is mentioned that means here we need to do apply the addition rule of probability so now let us check that what is the probability of each of the events separately so if you look for here closely in the pack of 52 cards there are four aces four aces okay so there are four four aces in in a pack of 52 cards so probability of getting an ace will be equal to 4 by 52 similarly probability now here look for the king so if you look here carefully here there are four cards which are kings so out of 52 cards there are four cards which are king so probability of getting a king is again 4 by 52 we need to find out probability of ace or king so here we are discussing about mutually exclusive events now see is it possible to get either an ace get, uh, see is it possible to get an ace and an king at the same time the answer is no it is not possible to if you pick a single card it is not possible to have an ace and an king at the same time either you will get an ace or a king so that means these two events are mutually exclusive so here the probability of getting an ace or a king will be equal to you have to just add the pro both these probabilities that is probability of getting an ace that is 4 by 52 and probability of getting a king that is 4 by 52 so this will be equal to probability of ace or king will be equal to 4 by 52 plus 4 by 52 which is equal to 8 by 52 now here the general formula if you want to write it down here we have talking about probability addition rule of probability that is probability of a union b so for mutually exclusive event if there are two such events that is event a and event b probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b so this is the formula when the events are mutually exclusive now let us talk about the other case that is when the events are mutually non-exclusive consider the same situation we have a pack of card here let us suppose we have to find out the probability of getting either a queen or a red color card so here probability of queen or red now what we have to do is find out the probability of queen and probability of the red color card separately 
so this will be probability of queen is equal to 4 by 52 because there are 4 queen in the pack of 52 cards so 4 by 52 now red color card if you check here the set of heart 13 cards of heart are red color and th 13 cards of diamonds are also red color so 13 plus 13 26 cards so 26 cards in the pack are have red color so the probability of getting red color card will be equal to 26 divided by 52 now we have to check is it possible to have both that is is it possible to have uh, a red color card as well as a queen the answer is yes there are two possibilities here this card this is a red color card is and it's also a queen this is also a red color card and also a queen so there are two such cards which have both so that means this event is mutually non-exclusive so now since here both the cards are common and we have actually these two cards are also already included in this in these cases okay so what since we have already included those cards all here in these expressions so what we have to do is we have to subtract these this common probability so here probability of there are two such cards which have both queen as well as red color so probability of both red and red color card and queen will be 2 by 52 since there are two such cards so here if we write down the total probability that is uh, the probability of getting either a queen or a red color card this will be 4 by 52 uh, plus 26 by 52 and since already these two cards which we have which are common are already included here we have to minus it so this will be equal to 4 by 52 plus 26 by 52 minus 2 by 52 the answer will be 28 by 52 so when the events are mutually non-exclusive non the formula will be probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b here we have to take minus of which are the common uh, probability of the common events uh, when both the events are occurring at the same time so now if we summarize everything it will be then when we are talking about addition rule of probability we have to check if events are mutually exclusive then we have to add the probability the formula is uh, obviously you have to add the probability the formula will be probability of a union b that is prob equal to probability of a plus probability of b if the events are mutually non-exclusive then probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b now let us talk about the multiplication rule of probability again when you consider multiplication rule it has also two categories multiplication rule is applied when we have to calculate the probability of event both the events or event a and event b so in that scenario the two possibilities are we have to check whether the events are independent events or the events are dependent events so we'll discuss that one by one first let's talk about independent events so we will understand this via an example so let us talk up let us talk about tossing of coin let us suppose a coin is tossed thrice what is the probability that getting a head head will, will get every time so the coin is tossed once so in the first attempt what is the probability of getting a head now a coin has two only two possibilities that either will get head or will get tail. So probability of getting a head will be equal to 1 by 2. Now let us suppose the, uh, now let us, uh, the coin is tossed again second time. Second attempt here also what is the probability of getting the head here? Does the probability in this case probability of getting a head in the second attempt does this get affected by our first attempt 
the answer is no here also the probability of getting ahead will be equal to half again the coin is tossed thrice here also the probability of getting ahead will not be affected by the previous two attempts so that means the probability of getting in head in the third attempt will also be equal to half so as you can see here the three attempts are independent attempts so that means you can say the events are independent so when you calculate the total probability that is the probability of getting ahead in every time here this will be equal to what you have to do is you have to multiply the probability 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 the answer is 1 by 8 so what we have done here is we have just multiplied the three probabilities now the general formula if you want to write down in this case it will be probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of a into probability of b so this is the case in case of independent events now let's talk about dependent events so multiplication rule and the event is dependent let us suppose in a container we have five balls red green yellow blue and white the question is what is the probability of getting a red ball in the first attempt and a green ball in the second attempt so in this case in the first attempt see there are five balls out of five balls we have to uh, what is the probability of getting a red ball in the first attempt there is only one red ball and there are total of five balls so when you choose a ball and that is red ball the probability of getting a red ball will be equal to 1 by 5 now after this events we will be left with four balls that is green yellow blue and white now out of these four balls in the second attempt we have to choose the green ball so what is happening here here while choosing there is a single green ball but here in this case we have to instead of five we have to choose out of the four balls so now here the probability of getting the green ball will be affected by our previous attempt so that means in this case out of four balls we have to choose the green ball so here the probability of getting a green ball is equal to 1 by 4 so here our second attempt probability of the second attempt is affected by the first attempt so that means the events are dependent now if you calculate the total probability here this will be equal to 1 by 5 into 1 by 4 that is 1 by 20 so in this case the general formula will be probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of a into probability of b by a so the second term it means probability of event b when event a has already occurred so this is the formula in case of dependent events suppose in this case in the same example if it is mentioned that after getting the uh, one after the first attempt when you get the red ball you have to return it back to the container and then you have to in the second attempt you have to choose the green ball here it would have been an independent event because now again it would have been same the five balls we have to choose the green ball from the five balls so in that scenario when there is a replacement or there is a return back thing is mentioned that means events are independent so look for those phrases carefully in the question so now if we summarize everything when here we have discussed about probability rules so there are two set of rules when the events either event a or event b then you have to add the probability which is represented as p of a union b and when we have to consider both event a and event b and calculate the probability you have to multiply the probability that is p and a intersection b for each of the rule there are also several categories for addition rule there are two categories one is 
when the events are mutually exclusive and when the events are mutually non-exclusive. When mutually exclusive, probability of A union B is equal to simple probability of A plus probability of B. When events are mutually non-exclusive, the formula is probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Here we have to minus uh, out the uh, common events or the probability of uh, common probability we have to take the minus. Same At the same time here multiplication rule has two categories that is when events are independent and when the events are dependent. In case of independent events that is we have probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. In case of dependent events the probability is probability of A intersection B equal to probability of A into probability of B by A that is when probability of that is the probability of ev event B when event A has already occurred. So this is all about different probability rules. Hope this is helpful. Thank you.